Parkhurst and I work for Catholic Charities of East Tennessee. So Catholic Charities of East Tennessee operates 10 programs um, from the north all the way down to Chattanooga. We serve about 4,500 clients per year. We offer homeless shelters and transitional housing for adults um, dealing with chronic mental illness, for adults living with HIV and AIDS, for senior citizens, and children who are removed from the home through CPS. We are almost entirely grant funded. So um, at any given time, we probably have 40 active grants. I'm a grant writer for Catholic Charities, and what I do is tell stories. I can tell a really good, compelling story about our clients and our programs. But what I really need to make the application competitive is the research that backs and supports the interventions that we're using to help the people, to help our clients. And so I need to have access to that research to be able to include it in my application. I have a great example. We offer, um, have a, a homeless shelter for individuals living with HIV and AIDS. I can tell you these stories about the clients who are living in our shelter right now. But if I add the research about what happens to people who are living with HIV and AIDS and they're homeless and they're malnourished and what happens to their health outcomes, all of a sudden I have a really credible application for funding for food for that program. So it's really important in what I do. Without access to research and those published articles, we can't possibly be doing our best work, and that impacts our clients.